I am not up. I got real emotional. Something that I wasn't really thinking much about because, you know, I was so like busy and so much was going on in my life around that time. It stuck to my head for a very, very long time. And I just felt like God was telling me, like, it's like, this is your baby. Like, I sent this baby to you. That's why you didn't know how long thing. And I really, really do. And I'm I'm just so in love with my baby. She's so cute. Like, she is the cutest, 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 cutest thing ever. She's such a tiny bean. And I feel like um, after I gave birth to her, like, I have this whole, like, I don't know. Like, I just have this sprout of energy. And, yeah, I just really feel like God sent me that baby for me. Like, it's, she's just, like, for me. Like, and I didn't tell my parents I was pregnant for a very long time. Because I was just scared to tell people. I, was, I, I didn't tell nobody for a long time. Like, not even my own parents. I didn't tell my sister or nothing. Because I didn't really want it, like, for them to judge me. Like, it's like, bitch, you're about to have fucking three kids. Are you out of your fucking mind? And I didn't show for a minute because, you know, like I said, I just got surgery. But after a while, I was, you know, it's so crazy. It wasn't even like, like my parents, they always come to my house. So it got to the point that I looked very pregnant, but they weren't even asking me. They was just looking at me like, and then one day my dad was like, he was like, you know, I could see you're pregnant. You're not going to tell me out your mouth that you're pregnant. And I was like. Dad, please, don't make it awkward for me. <laughs> don't make it awkward for me. So, yeah. <laughs> Funk said, niggas knew you was pregnant the whole time, gang. Yeah, when I started showing. So, yeah. I love my little boo-boo. She's so cute. I wish you guys could see her. I wish you guys could see her, but I, I don't want to... I don't want to show my baby until she's a little older because you know y'all be y'all y'all be y'all be doing weird shit. Y'all be putting fucking, uh, you know. I just I don't know when they get older and healthier and everything. Like it's like I whatever. And I was and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Due to the fact that I got that I was pregnant and I didn't know that I was pregnant for a long time and I did all that surgery and everything. For a long time, I was a little bit afraid because I was like, oh, my God, did, did that ever affect my baby? Like, I, 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 I got a whole surgery and everything. But deep down in my heart, I knew that I was going to have a good baby because, first thing first, my OBGYN was not playing. She, we, she sent me to the best places to make sure the baby was super, super healthy. And then second of all, like, cause I, I, like I said, I know for a fact that God sent me this baby himself and God wouldn't send me nothing that is, wasn't going to be right. So it's like, I felt really relieved too. When I, when I gave birth to my baby, she was perfect. No fucked up eyes, no fucked up, nothing, no fucked up skin. And she's very responsive. Like, it's like. She's very responsive. Like, it's like, she hears a noise and she's like, and she knows, she, she knows like I'm her mom. Like, it's like, she, like, it's like, like, it's like, yeah, when you carry her, it's like, all right, you could carry her. But when I carry her though, bitch, she know, she know it's me. She know it's mother carrying her. Like, and we be sleeping for mad long. Like we be like she sleeps she go to sleep real quick in my arms and she just she just doesn't want to wake up when she's in my arms she knows she knows I'm her mother so it's like ah uh, uh, she's so beautiful and she's brown she's brown i think she's going to be a little bit darker than culture i think she's going to be a little darker than culture i think she is she's going to be a little bit darker than culture why well, Mayhem Groove said, you love a nap. I sure, I love me a fucking nap. Listen, by 5 p.m., I need to take me a little nice one hour, 30 minute nappy nap, okay? So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I want to talk. All right, so I'm going to give you a little tea to my fans. So, yes, I did shot my um, album cover while I was pregnant. And I really do like these pictures, but I want to take a little... I want to take a little more. 
I want to take some more. I don't want to tell y'all if I'm going to have multiple covers or not. Because like I said, y'all know that y'all already know how many. Y'all know that people like to, you know what I'm saying? They like to pre me, man. We like to pre everything that I got going on. So I ain't going to tell y'all much. But yeah. I forgot what happened. I was so afraid to tell y'all that I was pregnant that I had a whole plan. My whole plan was, my whole plan was to announce my album and then announce my pregnancy because I felt like if I announced my pregnancy or if you guys found out that I was like pregnant, like if y'all caught me like out and with a belly and everything, I feel like you guys were going to like curse me out. Like it's like, bitch, why the fuck would you get pregnant? Hey, you got to fucking deliver a fucking album. But so many things that I have planned for my album because I just don't want to release music out with it. Like I want to, I want everything to go one, 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 one. That is like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I'm pregnant. I just didn't want y'all to throw bad energy on my pregnancy. Like, it's like, oh, you a dumb bitch. Like, oh, I knew you're not going to have an album if you get pregnant. Like, I didn't want none of that. So that's why I was so scared to even, like, tell y'all. I had I had certain plans. There's certain things planned. Like, shoot the cover. Do the announcement. And then announce your pregnancy. So people won't be like oh you know what i'm saying it, it was a lot it was a lot i was overthinking i was just overthinking and i over planned but some of those plans got god was like fuck your plans bitch living live your life bitch but yeah mm. fair five demon low Dímelo, Fefa. What the fuck was that? Anybody here? Hmm. All right. And for some reason... With this pregnancy, I didn't even have that much fatigue. Like, I literally only threw up one time. I literally threw up one time in, with this pregnancy. Like, I feel like the only time that I had, like, a little complications was when I injured my fucking pelvis, when I fucking tripped. Like, I literally tripped, and I almost did a split. It was terrible. We had to call the ambulance and everything. But that was the only time that I had, like, a real, like, issue other than that, I I didn't even, I didn't really feel like nausea or nothing like that. It's it was crazy. I'm telling you, it was God. God, God was like, here, baby, you need this baby, and I really, really love it. I like the fact that around, I when I when I first gave birth to culture, I didn't really have like a a stable home. Like I like I I ain't had a, a home. We ain't bought a home yet. When I gave birth to my son, I had a home in Atlanta, but I know I didn't want to live in Atlanta. So, um, when I gave birth to my son, I didn't really have a home. I didn't have anything together. Now, with my daughter, I have a home. Oh, my peaks are here. Now, with my daughter, I have a home. Everything is, like, right in place. Um... I have a nanny that's helping us with a baby. So everything is like good. I never I never really had a nanny like that. So it's like I don't know, this time is like so much easier. So now is it is go time. It's time to put out the fucking album. I'm negotiating my tour deals because they got to come with the real rash money check. I know my worth, motherfuckers. I know I bring motherfuckers out, so. Negotiating my tour deal. I don't know. I feel like I'm starting a brand new life. I have a very... I have... 
I have a couple of business ventures that I feel like these are the business ventures that are going to take me to where I want to be. I, I don't want to tell y'all my goal in life because if I tell y'all my goal and my dream, y'all going to throw salt on it. So I'm not going to. So I'm not going to tell y'all my goal or my dream, but I really I, as a Libra, I plan I plan. I always look at where am I, where am I going to, where am I be at five years from now? Five years from now, I have certain goals that I want to reach. And I also want to, I also want to make this very clear. Like, I have to take accountability for myself because I do see on the internet that like, don't think I'm trying to defend people or everything. Like, I see a lot of people like try to say like, it's like, oh, People be trying to stop you. You be getting pregnant, this, this, and that. I have to take accountability of for myself. My kids don't stop me from putting music. My kids don't stop me from grinding. Like, I gave birth to my son, and even after I gave birth to my son, it's been three years, and I haven't dropped a lot of music, and I haven't dropped a lot of things. I have to take accountability for my own self. I have let a lot of the, the critiques and... And the social medias and all that stuff, I have let that shit get in my head for a very long time to the point that it has made me insecure with my own work, with my own accent, with my own self, with my own attitude. Like, it got to the point that pe some people that are close to me be like, yo, I don't even know you anymore. Like, it's like, this has never been you. When have you cared? When have you cared to do this? When have you cared to say that? When have you cared to 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 drop shit? Like, if, when have you cared about having an accent in your music? When have you cared about this? A lot of people be like, oh, it's your kids. She's been delaying herself for the kids, the kids. And it's never really my kids. I have to take accountability that it's myself. And I have to be more confident in myself. And I have to see for myself what other people see in me. And um, I know my fans tell me this all the time. I know my family tell me this all the time. I know my ex-baby daddy used to tell me this all the time. But I was just so stuck in my head because I do feel like I... I like, the internet for a long time, I feel like that shit really traumatized me. And I went for a long time with the internet traumatizing me, traumatizing me, and not getting, like, therapy for it. I felt, I just felt like, oh, I, it, I, I really let, I really let, I really let the internet, like, defeat my mind. But that's not happening no more, and... It's my turn now. It's my turn now, motherfuckers. And I told myself, if I feel uncomfortable, and if I feel tired, then that's I, that's when I know. <laughs> Academics said 2025 new music. Who said 2025. Why is it not 2024? Hmm? <laughs> um, I'll talk to you later, academics. Hit me up or something. But yeah. It's just me. I feel like I'm my own. I'm my own enemy. Ain't no more of me being my own enemy. If I feel uncomfortable, if I feel tired, that means that I'm I'm doing good. So if I feel sleepy, that means that I'm doing good. If I feel tired, that means that I'm doing good. If I feel if I feel like it's too much, that means that I'm doing good. I I'm going to make my I'm going to make sure that I'm uncomfortable because me being uncomfortable is is how I'm going to reach the goal that I want to reach. I really When I reach the goal, that's when I'm going to tell you what was my goal. Anyways, I'm drunk as fuck. I'm off that honey. I'll talk to you guys later. Love ya. Have a good day.